Yo, what is going on, you flat-headed feebass? Today we're going to be playing some games with Coco Passimian. Um, never really delved too deep uh, into this deck before, uh, but I know a couple of you have been wanting to see some Passimian games. So, this is uh, Fabian Pujol's list. Um, to the best of my knowledge, it's his list anyways. Um, and it's pretty good. I actually like this list way more than any kind of counter energy Coco build. Um, it is working off lightning energy plus Dance of the Ancients to pull off extra attacks outside of the 4 DC that we do play. Um, yeah, and I really don't have too much to say on this list. Like I said, this is Fabian's list. Uh, Fabian, great player. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into some games and uh, see how it runs. In this game, got a Coco start. We're going to bench our Zapdos as well. Figure out what we're playing against here. Go Dose. Yeah, see what we're playing against, and then we'll choose if we're going to go into the Passimian line. Maybe get a Coco, Jirachi. All right. They got a Mr. Mime, so I assume we're playing against some kind of spread deck here from our opponent. There's a netball though, so now I have no idea what we're playing against. I guess it could be Venusaur uh, Celebi. Uh, nope, there's an Execute, so it's an egg deck. Interesting. <laughs> That's all I've got to say on that. It's interesting. So this matchup is fine. We can use uh, Pissimia to actually one-shot the... Oh, can we get the one-shot? 120, 130... 60. I think yeah, we get a, we get to 160 exactly. So we can one shot them. Passimian is going to be the name of the game in this matchup. Get out the Passimian boys. We can do some Coco spreads. We can do some Chaos with Zapdos. But Passimian is going to be the main swinger, uh, main guy swinging through in this one. Going to be the ideal guy taking the knockouts. Uh, I mean, if we top like a Whiting Energy here, we could just chase their only egg and play if they end up with one egg. But here's a Lily for five. Sorry, I bumped my mic. Um, there's a Bitto, so yeah, now we're just gonna probably be looking to knock out the Mr. Mime with Lightning Energy, ideally, and we'll get a Passimian here with this Nest Ball. We'll take that first prize, ideally, on this Mr. Mime. That guy is also gonna be pretty good to set up early on, but the whole Passimian squad is here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of them. Bench Blitzel, we're definitely gonna want that extra draw power. And Lightning Energy, please! No such luck. All right. A little bit of a rough hand. We could still knock out the active, but I think I want to... Well, it's not probably going to get stranded there. Um, hmm. A little bit of a rough hand here. I'm going to go ahead and retreat and escape rope. Well, they're just going to set up the shuckle, I guess. Yeah, a little bit of a rough hand here. I guess we're drawing a prize here with double E power. I don't see a better play. Eep. Eep. And fly and flip. Knockout. Setting up some damage on the boys on the bench. They might whiff the knockout on us next turn, which would be... There we go. There's a Cynthia, which would be greatly appreciated for my opponent if they could just whiff on their next turn. Um, I guess they maybe could have saved the escape rope. Um, there's no way they're really ever setting up Execute or Ditto there for me, so... Probably should have just saved that. There we go. That 160 HP boy. Hard to take down, but definitely not impossible for us to, to do. It's gonna be a little bit tough. Just a little bit tough. Ooh, also the Altaria. Ooh, that's actually cute. We get the uh, fight song on the Altaria instead of the uh, Lorantis. Maybe it is better. Maybe the uh, dragon type one is the way to go. The dragon type uh, executor. Well, there's the Shuckle. So they're definitely getting the knockout here. So it's just gonna be for us to respond. Whether or not we'll be able to respond. There's that fresh squeezed. And yeah, we're gonna be on the ropes here for a bit. Let's see if we can't. Uh, we gotta draw well. We just gotta draw well. That's basically it. Uh, we're gonna have the Cynthia. I mean, we're gonna send up a Simeon. If we top deck a Lightning Energy, definitely go for a Guzma KO on the Ditto. Or something else, depending on what our opponent does. Um, and then from there, it's just gonna be a Simeon's all day. Um, I guess a Flying Flip here would also be fine if we could pull that off. We'll see what our top deck is. It all comes down to the top deck here. So Cynthia, gonna go ahead and throw some play here on the bench. And then Cynthia... We do need a lot. Three Passimians plus a, uh, what's it called? Is quite a bit to ask for, actually. Um, Passimian makes it down. I'm gonna go ahead and switch into the Zeb Shrika. Attach the escape board. I think I'm just gonna attach the lightning here, actually, and just go ahead and hit with Zapdos for the turn. Setting up the ex Executor. We're gonna have to two-shot the first one, it looks like. Yeah, it's gonna have to be the two-shot. Uh, that's not the worst thing ever, though. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and nest ball. I'm gonna grab another fight guy Passimian. Yeah, I gotta grab the fight guy Passimian. And then retreat. And we're gonna hit him with that Thunderous Assault. Um, so here's where we fall behind in the prize trade. And we're just gonna have to look 
for our opponent to start whiffing themselves from here on out. Um, and that's gonna be the name of the game now. Hope our opponent whiffs. Never a nice, uh, never feels good to play the game this way, but, uh, ooh, field blower on my skateboard. That's annoying. Don't really care about the choice band. They actually even leave the choice band on the active. Doesn't really matter. They're probably gonna knock us out. And choice band does nothing in the matchup anyways. So, who cares, right? Yeah. Who cares? I don't care. They probably don't care. I don't think anyone cares. We're feeling it right now. Pretty Forest, that's pretty good. I'll definitely be able to put that to use. I like that. I like seeing that. Giving me something to go off of here. Um, but yeah, we're going to get a knockout with Pissimian next turn on this Executor. Um, and then we're going to have to hold the hand because we need to hold on to this Rescue Stretcher um, to be able to get enough Pissimians to take one shots on these Executors. Um, that's it's just going to be tough. KOing these exec Executors is going to be tough. Keeping up with the knockouts turn after turn after turn. It's going to be hard. Uh, we're going to try our best, though. Definitely not impossible. Lance Prism Star. Ooh, that's super cute in this deck. They knock out an Executor. You just get two Executors into play. I actually really like that. That's super, super cool. You can also get Altarias. Wow, I actually really like that. That's super cool. I really like that Lance Prism Star in there. Uh, might have to try this deck out. There it is. The Tropical Shake. Goodbye, Zapdos. Hello, Pissimian. Yeah, definitely. I think I'm definitely going to have to give this deck a try out. I really like this. I really like what, what, what this guy's got going on here. All right, another Pissimian comes down. That's cool. He's a cool guy. Um, pretty enforced. Thin out that. Let's take a look at the deck. Two, two lightning left. Um, I think we want to go ahead and grab one here. Or we could just leave it. Hmm. We need another one to make his way to the discard pile. We're not going to bump that stadium ever. I guess we can go ahead and grab one here. And then, yeah, team play for the knockout. Uh, I guess we can throw up Coco GX at the end of the game up against our opponent. Um, and it's gonna be something that might be tough for them to one shot. Oh, another lightning energy. Oh no, but that's, oh no, that's not fine. Oh no. The one thing we didn't want to get out of our prizes was lightning energy. So now we can't set up two attackers off the Coco Prism. So I guess maybe I shouldn't have taken that lightning off the Viridian knowing that was a possibility. I didn't really need it this turn. I could have held off a turn on that. Yeah, I probably should have just held off a turn on that. All right. Anyways, this is where we're at. There's a stretcher from our opponent. Probably going to get this squad back into the deck. Might just go for a lone executor. We'll see what they end up going with. Um, what would be like a top, a good top deck here? Cynthia would be good. Um, Cynthia would be great. What else would be good? Cynthia, you know, Lily, a supporter of any kind would be kind of good. I'd appreciate any kind of supporter here. Uh... Coco Prism wouldn't be terrible. There's a Guzma going after our Zebstrika. I'm actually 100% fine with this with our current hand, the way our current hand is. I'm 100% fine with them going after our Zebstrika here. Um, I'm all for it. This might give us the turn we need to get back in the game. Um, we'll be able to attach two Lightning to this Basimian, set him up, get this knockout, and who knows, we might be able to make a comeback here. We'd definitely like to be able to replace their stadium now with a Shrine. Let's see if we can't find one. There's a Coco. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to that for this turn and just team play for the knockout. Bang, 160 exactly. Yep, there it is. Draw a prize card. Absol, not good, does nothing, uh, but it could be Ultra Ball fodder potentially. Wanna try and get a Jirachi out on the field as soon as possible so that way we can uh, start seeing some cards. We need to be able to see some cards. We need to get rid of this Viridian Forest. Can't let that sit in play forever. That's no good for us. Uh, they'll keep being able to find grass energy, so all they have to find is an exec uh, executor every turn, and they're just going to be cruising. Um, so yeah, a couple things we need to get doing. There is a... I assume they're activating Viridian Forest there. Yep, there's a Viridian Forest activation. And Tropical... So, nope, Sightseer into the Tropical Shade. Sightseer is interesting in here. It's not really that good in this deck, I feel like, because of the Shuckles. The Shuckles kind of get the job done. Give you that fresh, fresh squeeze, and then you don't really need any more from there. All right, knockout. Uh, goodbye, Pissimian. Hello, Pissimian. And then we're going to stretch her for this Pissimian, and then we'll have enough once again to take another knockout. Okay, that's perfect. That is exactly what we need. We're going to go ahead and Viridian Force away this guy. Not going to grab that just yet. We'll leave the stadium in play for now. Uh, need to grab this Pissimian. There we go. We have enough once again to take a knockout. Coco's going to make its way down. And then Lily for six. Perfect top deck. We need to find... Oh, don't have it yet. We need to find the other stretcher and a way to attack. 
I feel like this one might be getting out of hand here. We'll see if our opponent is actually able to attack on their turn. Uh, we didn't even find a way to get a Jirachi. That's so unfortunate. There's the Ultra Ball for Jirachi, potentially. But it might be a little bit too late for us, actually. Yeah, there's the Attach. I assume they have access. Oh, the Bodybuilding Dumbbell. So we're going to get closed out by this Egg Deck, almost certainly, I think. Um, Viridian Forest thinning out the hand. And then I expect to see probably a Lily here for five. So we're... Hoping they whiff the executor. That's really our only hope at this point, I think. Hope they whiff the executor. Um, if I had to bet, I would say it's not going to happen. Um, we'll go ahead and see how it goes down, though. There's Cynthia. Cynthia for six, so it's still possible they can whiff executor, but I think they have like two or three of them in the deck. Yep, there we go. Oh, they even play one of the grass ones, so we're going to get knocked out here. We have no response to this executor. Um, the only thing we could possibly hope to do would be like to Guzma stall something off the bench. Uh, but yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, that's our only hope. How many Guzmas are they down? They're down three Guzma, so this could work. Oh, there's a let loose to make matters even worse. I guess I could have put the choice band at least into play. Wouldn't be able to draw that now. All right, two Guzmas. Yeah, that's gonna be our hope now. We have to Guzma something up. Hope they don't have energy to retreat or anything. Yeah, we're, we're not in a good spot here. If you couldn't tell, we're not in a great spot here. Coco Prism, that's something they cannot one-shot. So we can go ahead and throw Coco Prism down, and we're going to go ahead and Guzma up. Doesn't matter. They all got one retreat cost, right? I don't know. Let's bring up the Marshadow here. Send up Coco. And it's going to be a pass. Hope for the best. But I think we're about to take an L here to a super cool Alolan Executor deck. Yeah, the treasure is even in here is even cool because you can get this guy. That's super cool. I actually really like this deck. I'm really intrigued by this Alolan Executor deck. Uh, that we are about to unfortunately take an L2. Um, not much we could do about it, though. Just kind of uh, going through the last couple motions here. I mean, it's possible they ran out of ways to retreat. Um, they are down quite a few energy. There's a grass energy. We have one more Guzma we could potentially stall them out. But I think they'll probably have a way around this Guzma as well. Uh, the more, more dumbbells coming down. A shrine replacing their stadium as well. Um, yeah, and I think this one's just about wrapped up for our opponent. I think they're about to wrap us up on this one. Mm, well, they didn't retreat the Marshadow. Mm, there's a pass. All right. Going to be a pass back to our opponent. They're maybe just looking for the Guzma. That's maybe why they want the Cynthia. I think they, yeah, there's a grass retreat. Retreat into the Executor. Tropical Shake. Back over to us. Alright, so I guess it's going to be some flying flips and chill. Go ahead and bring up... This guy still has one retreat one. Oh, this guy's got three retreat costs. How many grass are they down? Well, I guess if they have a grass, they can retreat them anyways, or they can attack. But they could be out of grass energy, so I could bring that guy up. Do I think they're out of grass? That's six grass. They probably play seven grass, maybe even eight. I think the best bet is on the Marsh Shadow. Um, not expecting to win this one at this point, though. Pretty sure we're still done, but uh, we'll see here in just a second. After this flying flip, potentially we win. Oh, and there's the concession. It looks like they are out of ways to retreat, so we do end up taking this one. Barely, really liked their deck, though. I'm a really big fan of it. It was really interesting. Definitely gonna try and replicate it some point in the future. Um, so yeah, take that first game, just barely. To another one here, super good opening hand. Uh, we'll see what our opponent's playing and then kind of adjust from there. Got the Nest Ball, got a Coco, got all the options in the world. Looks like a Zorark deck. So you already know who we're going after. We're going after the boy, the Passimian. Zapdos would actually be okay here early on. Actually, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go after the Zapdos here early on. Um, Stellar Wish. Um, Guzma could be good early on, just so we can take some early cheap knockouts. Ultra Ball, yeah, it really doesn't grab us anything. So we're going to go for the Guzma, give ourselves some options for what we want to knock out early on here. Good night, Jirachi. And then attach the Zapdos and pass back over to our opponent. And then from here, yeah, we're definitely going to be looking to set up the Passimians. The Passimians are going to be key in this matchup for us. We did prize one of the attacking Passimians. We can get away with the rest of the Passimians as long as they don't get the muck out. Um, or if we're able to deal with the muck at some point. Um, other stuff could stack up, like Shrine Ticks and stuff could stack up. So, 
to the point where the Simians can still deal with the Zoroarks. Um, yeah, we'll see what our opponent gets out here to make it how hard they're gonna make um, <laughs> how hard they're gonna make this game for us though with these early Pokemon searches. It looks see the Viridian Forest, so we're assuming I'll assume it's probably Lucario Zorark here. They're grabbing the Lele. Gonna be that Lele for Lily, I assume. Um, no one, no more basic Pokemon coming out, so it's gonna be a Lele for Lily for five, which sounds good to me. They might not be able to find another basic Pokemon. Ideally, they don't. And then we're able to take out this Grimer and don't have to deal with Muck for at least a couple turns. Give ourselves a little bit of time to kind of set up and uh, start building up our stuff. There's the counter game already coming down on the Zerua. It's gonna be Lily for six. Correct myself there. All they're looking for is basic Pokemon here. We'll see how many they find. Key basic Pokemon they're looking for here is the Ditto, though. That's not Ditto. Yeah, if we can just avoid Muck early on here, we should be in a good spot. There it is. No Ditto. That means no Muck, because we're going to be able to KO that Grimer. Stellar Wish. Um, Ultra Ball's looking pretty good here to me. Yeah, I think Ultra Ball is going to be the go here. Use him off the Grimer. Send up the Zapdos. I don't know if I want to Ultra Ball yet. I don't really have anything I want to Ultra Ball out of my hand. I think we're just going to chill. Thunderous Assault. Uh, we definitely want more options, so that's why I took the Ultra Ball. There's a Cynthia. So our options are opening up here for sure. Mm, depends all on what our opponent does. I could have like Ultra Balled away the Lightning plus the Switch. Kind of want to save the E-Powers. Yeah, could have Ultra Balled away the Lightning plus the Switch. And then looked to grab... Um, Lightning plus Switch grabbed a Simeon and attached the other Lightning to it. I guess that would have been fine. Um, can still potentially pull off that play this next turn, though. Um, another play we can look for is actually just going straight into Coco GX. I don't actually know if it's in the deck. But we would also need a... Well, what's it called to make that happen? A... Da -dun, da -dun. Coco Prism. We could potentially make that play work. I what our top deck plus Stellar Wish gives us. There's a trade. So they went with the DC on the bench. I guess they're really afraid of potentially losing this Zorark. Uh, did not end up panning out for them. We'll see what our top deck is. Stretcher. Nothing super good. I'm going to switch into the Jirachi and see if we can't find something super good. Stellar Wish, the Nest Ball is super good here, actually. Go ahead and grab that. Can then Nest Ball. Grab the Prism. Ultra Ball away two Lightnings to grab the Coco GX. And we're just going to go for the one shot here. We're close. We just need one more E Power or one of the cho or the one choice, man. We only have one in there. But I think this is worth going for. Even if we don't one shot it, we're hitting it really hard. And we're setting up the. Uh, getting the Coco GX just in there, ready to go. Uh, I think it's worth it here. Um, yeah, I think this play is definitely worth it. E power. E power. And if we can pull this off, we're going to get way ahead here. If we can get this play off. There's the E power. Awesome. All we needed. The Simeon, he has to deal with this Coco. Now we're going to go ahead and throw this hero on here as well. And then Sky High Claws for the knockout with the triple E power. Huge play on that turn. Boom, boom. Exactly how we need the game to play out to actually be able to have a chance in this one. Uh, I personally feel like anyways, I feel like it definitely is a uh, tough matchup. You know, they set up the muck. If they're able to set up the muck, um, we lose a lot of our access to our Pokemon. But this is how, if we want, it, if we want to be able to win these kind of matchups. Uh, early KO on the Grimer. They didn't find the Ditto. And then uh, got a huge knockout here with the Sky High Claws on this Zork with that Triple E power. So pretty awesome there. Uh, here comes Lele, so it's probably just going to be a hit into us with Energy Drive. Not not great from our opponent. Not going to be a great uh, turn, I don't think. Yeah, there's the DCE, so it is going to be an Energy Drive hit. Um, one thing scary that could have happened if we had whiffed the E powers, they could have Ace Rolled and then put the E gain on a Rock Ruff. Um, well, I guess we wouldn't have benched our last basic Pokemon, so it wouldn't have been that scary of a situation. We still would have been in a fine spot. Yep, there's the Energy Drive onto our Coco GX. Uh, they hit the Field Blower as well, which is a little bit annoying. We're going to go ahead and throw the Shrine down, because then it, 
Ooh, it's a little risky. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it down though. I'm gonna switch to the Coco as well. Open up our options. We might just go with like a flying flip here. That would be fine. Um, but if we do find like a choice band or something, no. No big options. Oh, we can just GX attack though. So yeah, that's fine. I didn't even realize that. Um, they do have two DCs in play. So it is gonna be the, the Coco GX for 200 damage. Uh, two prize cards. And this one is all about done then, I think. I completely didn't even realize that uh, they had the 2DC in play. We kind we of use our GX attack yet. Um, yeah, definitely fine with the Shrine in play then, because this thing's going to go down for sure. They can't leave the Coco GX in play anymore. And whether it has 2 plus 20 damage from the Shrine or not really doesn't matter. I guess this means they could potentially Ram knock us out, but then it's just easy pickings for the Pissimians. Um, yeah. Definitely have to deal with the Coco here, so not a big deal with the way it's going down. They did evolve the Lycan Rock, so I almost wonder if they actually are going to have to bloodthirsty eyes. Maybe their hand is that bad. Um, but this is what can happen with the Zorak deck. You KO the Zoraks really fast and aggressively early on, and then they just start to dead draw. Um, and it looks like that's what we're seeing here. There's a Mallow setup, yep. So it looks like we're going to be able to just close out this game with a Guzma on our next turn. Or we can retreat to Persimmon. We have too many options. Too many options here. Um, yeah, so take a nice, clean dub against the Zorak deck, which I think is definitely generally a bad matchup. Um, if they if they get the muck out, but once they once they don't get the muck out um, We kind of take over from there I guess it's not as bad for a deck like this one because you have the Pissimians to fall back on to deal with Zoroks So not even that bad actually even if they get the muck out um, But yeah, here we go boom attach to Pissimian retreat Pissimian and then it's just gonna be the sky high Claws to take our last prize card here, and that's gonna do it for this video with the Coco Pissimian deck I think this deck is super cool. It has a lot of avenues of ways to play the game um, I have a lot of fun with it. I have really any deck that has like a Jirachi engine in it I'm a huge fan of definitely the most fun decks to play in standard right now So I re definitely recommend you guys play around with this one a little bit uh, list is courtesy of Fabian um and yeah, that's going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Uh, links in the description to my live stream over on Twitch and uh, links to my social media. So be sure to check all that cool stuff out. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day and peace.